Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ashcraft. If you are new here, you can find me on Instagram at that same name. I will have everything linked and spelled down below in the description box. Uh, today is April 14th, 2022. This is Floss 2 episode 53. My last one was in February. Um, I know I said I was going to not have months between Floss 2 updates, but that trial really kicked my butt and I'm just like, I'm just so tired now. <laughs> I still feel tired. Um, and I'm just trying to catch up on a lot of things. Um, we also had swim start for about four to six weeks. I think it was, it was something like that. Um, so we had that every day and, uh, so <laughs> I really just had no time for quick updates. I did have an unboxing. That was my last video, maybe a week or two ago. I No, maybe more than that. Um, and that was a Black Needle Society box, which stay tuned because um, after this video, I have an unboxing of the Black Needle Society murder mystery box that I'm super excited about. But um, I have a quick update quick update um i have a whip and then i have a finish and then i have some haul because i can't stop buying things um <laughs> so to show you my whip first because that will be super quick i had to go back to my last video to see if i had even stitched anything on this because when i looked at it i'm like i don't even see a difference from the last time I showed this, but there was a slight difference. So this is Housewives um, January truck. Yes, I still have not finished it. We're not gonna talk about it. So this is where I'm at. And all that I've done since my last update is I've started filling in the truck. Um, I can't remember if this was there and I don't remember what I, I literally just looked at my video, but I've started filling in the truck. Um, this is what I work on when my kids play outside on the weekends, um, because it's black. So it's really hard for me to see it when I'm indoors, but outside it's like the perfect amount of light. So, um, slowly chugging along my goal. Hmm is to have it done before, before next January. Realistically, or ideally, like it, that, that's a really decent goal. You know, I, I think it's doable. Will I do it on the other hand is uh, another story. Um, okay, and then I have a finish. Look at this little guy. So, um, I'm going to show you the original or the picture rendering of it. This is Mr. Finnegan by Autumn Lane. There is a difference between what I did and this, and that's all these little thingamajiggies on the outside. I did not do those. Um, the called for color blended in with my fabric. So I would have had to pick out a different color and then... Uh, I also looked at it and I was like, you know, I don't really feel like I need to do it for this one. Um, I love it for Santa and for the snowman. Yeah, snowman. But for this one, I, I like the way that this looks. Um, I have, I just love Aaron's designs. He's the designer behind Autumn Lane. And, um his color theory is just out of this world. Um, I start, I started getting freaked out a little bit because I thought this shadow color was too dark and I kept looking at it and looking at it. Like it looks like my guy sunburned. I mean, I know we Irish sunburn really easily, but like, I don't know about this. And I talked with Courtney Lancaster and she was just like, I think it'll be okay. Like press on and we'll see. So I pressed on and I think it looks fine. Like from this distance, it just looks like the shadow of, you know, the hat and his nose. And so I think it works out perfectly. 
Um, I've previously finished um, like Santa and Mrs. Claus and I can't even remember now if I've done the snow, the snowman. I want to say I haven't, but I think I could be wrong. I don't think I have, but I finished, I like finishing them on mini cutting boards. But when I was looking at this, I feel like he looks a lot bigger than my Santa. So I don't know if he's going to fit on one of those mini cutting boards. Um, so if not, I'll have to think of something else, um, but that's okay. Uh, and I finished him after St. Patrick's Day. I finished him this weekend. That's right. I finished him this weekend. The back stitching took me um, two days. I think if I had the opportunity to work like all day on it, I could have gotten it done in one day. But, um, you know, and then, and the really interesting thing about Aaron's designs with his back stitch is he does one, two, and three strands. So you'll see in some places the back stitching is thicker and in some places it's thinner. So, um, and the way that you do that, if you've never done one of Aaron's designs and you're a little intimidated by how much back stitching there is, use one strand of floss, whatever color it is, so like 310 uh, black. And then where it calls for one strand, you just go over it once. Where it calls for two, you just do that section twice. And where it calls for three, you do that section three times. Um, it's much easier than trying to fit three strands through a, t a tiny hole, you know? Um, so that's my little tip for that. Um, I love how this looks. It's so, so cute. And I can't wait to fully finish him. I need to have like a, a finishing party with myself because, uh, that sounded a little wrong, um, because I have a lot of things that I want to fin fully finish and I just like need to sit down and do them. But that would require my children to be preoccupied doing something else or asleep. And by the time they fall asleep, I'm tired. So, um, so my next, which one do I want to go over first? Okay. So I think I want to do this first. Um, I got a message from Sally at Caterpillar Cross Stitch asking if I would like to be part of their, I don't know, influencer team, if you will. Um, so I, said yes. Um, and so I'm really, really excited. The first, I don't know if she will ever send me a kit again, but the one that she sent me is her new stitch along called a touch of magic. So this is the full kit with the needle, needle minder. This is Luna, the cat. I'll pull her out in a second. So touch of magic it's a Halloween themed um, stitch along. It starts in May and um, it ends in September uh, is when the last clue comes out. And it's reminiscent of, or it's along the same lines as, I think it's called Deck the Halls. It's the Christmas ones that's like a lot of words and pictures, um, which I've been wanting to do that one. So I'm really excited to do this one. Um, but it's Halloween themed. I'm super excited. If you want to get the kit, either the full kit or the kit with the needle minder, you can use the code MARYMAGIC10. So that's Mary, M-A-R-Y, MAGIC, M-A-G-I-C, and then the number 10, one zero. Um, and that code will get you 10% off a kit. It does not work when you combine it with any other, um, like promotion. So I think there's a couple things where if you get a needle minder with a bag, like that's considered a promotion and you wouldn't be able to use it in conjunction with this. Um, so this is, my code is just for the kit and I'll have that linked and all the details down below. Um, I literally just got this in the mail. I'm home on my lunch break and this arrived at my, in my mailbox, maybe 20 minutes before I got home. So I'm super excited and let me show you what it all comes with. Okay, so first thing is this piece of paper that has directions on how to cross stitch if you have never cross stitched before. Um, Sally's patterns, 
are very easy to read, very user-friendly, beginner-friendly. So if you are new to cross-stitch, highly suggest. And then this is the color list. Um, Sally is known for bright colors. I love it. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited for these kinds of bright Halloween colors. Um, I think it's just so cute. And I already know, based on the previews, I already know my daughter. Like once I finish this, my daughter is going to want it in her room. So these colors are so pretty. And so what happens is these um, each have a number on them and they correspond with the list. So what I typically do with um, her patterns is I cut out this and I put it with like my pattern or put it with you know, some parts so I can easily access it and not have to like rummage through papers every time. So because it's a stitch along, you will get uh, an email every month with the new pattern um, or like the next set. And um, so this is all you get physically is you get this. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. Um, you get the floss. Uh, I'm so excited for these colors. They're so pretty. And then you also get fabric and a needle. So she asked me what kind of fabric I wanted and I chose the linen. Um, does it say what the, I know it's a Swigart. I think it's a 32. Oh. I think it's a 32 count linen but it's a light gray color um I think this color is super pretty I'm going to look through my stash because I like actually can say that I have a stash of fabric now after being in the fiberlicious club I'm gonna look through my stash and um see if I if I have any other fabrics that I like better than um this just because I like a little bit more modeling um but otherwise i'll probably end up using this fabric um but i know whatever whatever fabric it is i feel like it definitely needs to be neutral because of how bright these colors are um that's just my personal opinion i know some people they like bright on bright on bright um and so that just shows you how you can make cross stitching all your own okay cutest little needle minder. Now I've never gotten a caterpillar needle minder before, but Courtney says that these plus the frosted pumpkins are her favorites. Um, and I have loads of the frosted pumpkins. So I'm really excited that this is my first caterpillar needle minder. Here she is, Luna. Look at those, the moon and the, the stars on body there's so pretty it's I love how detailed this is this really is really pretty and it has a really strong magnet here's the back of the magnet um oh man that was hard to pry off <laughs> so cute oh I have to make sure I definitely keep this away from my daughter because she will try to steal it from me would not be the first time that she has tried to steal a needle minder from me. So I am so excited to be participating in this stitch along. As many of you know, if you're watching my channel, I did a 90 days, no new starts. There were a couple of times where it was very tempting to start on something new because I just was like, I'm tired of the same old, same old. Um, but I stuck to it. No new starts for 90 days. I'm really proud that I stuck to it. Um, so this is actually going to be my first new start of 2020. And I also forgot to mention, this is my first finish of 2022. Also, did I literally just say 2020? This will be my first new start of 2022. 
There you go. This is what happens when Marion hasn't eaten lunch yet. Um, so I'm really excited. I hope you join me. Let me know in the comments down below if you are going to be doing this stitch along. Um, I've participated in several Caterpillar stitch alongs and I love it. You can also join the Facebook group. Um, it's a super active group. Um, it's one of my favorite cross-stitching Facebook groups to be in because you get a lot of uh, Caterpillar stuff, a lot of ideas for different fabric choices or color choices. And then on Sundays, you can share um, what else you are working on that is not Caterpillar related. So if you want to buy the kit, um, which has everything that I just showed, it has the directions, the color code, the... Um, the fabric, the floss, and then if you add on the needle minder, you get little Luna. Um, if you want to order that from Sally from Caterpillar, use my code for 10% off, Mary Magic 10 and I will have everything down below in the description box. So with that, let's pull over my little haul. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> this was an oops because I had mentioned in my last video that I was pausing my color and cotton uh, floss club. Apparently I only did it for one month. So they sent me the, you know, March. So I skipped February, but then got March. And then when I realized that I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel. I have plenty of floss. It's gonna be okay. And if I ever need floss down the road, um, I'm gonna order from Forbidden Fiber or Almond M&Ms or any of the other places that I love. So I don't need to be part of a club, it's okay. So for March, I was part of the 10 Skeins All Colors. Um, so the first pack is this, and I can tell it's very Irish in, inspired. Um, this green shamrock is calling my name. And then I, oh, I'm like upset. I love this. This is the other pack. Is this, this looks like this gray is called Farmhouse. Perfect name, perfect name. So I need to go add these to my stash. My um, floss containers are like overflowing, um, which is good because I'm, I'm set on floss. I'm set on fabric, I think for a little while. I am debating, I keep going back and forth about whether I wanna, cancel my subscription for the fabric. Um, I think I eventually will. I think it'll be like, you know, cause Gwen puts up um, uh, previews of the fabric colors around the time that you have to pay for the next month. So I have a feeling that once it gets to a month where I'm just like, yeah, okay, I don't need that fabric. Then I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna just cancel. Um, this one, I'm glad I did not cancel though because this color is amazing. It's Chai Love You. So this was for March. This color is so pretty. So pretty. Um, and I didn't, I'm getting the April fabric as well, which is a, I want to say it's like a bluish purple combo. Sounds about right, but it's really pretty as well. But this is a 32 count Lugana. Ugh. This is so pretty. I it the color I'm hoping that's somewhat the same as what I'm seeing. It just it's it's just a beautiful like coffee color is what it's the vibe it's giving me. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um and I just uh oh, I can't wait to use it. Okay, and then, you know, I haven't bought patterns or or a lot of things in a while. I did, um, I did buy a bunch of patterns, not a bunch, but a, like a handful, a good amount, probably like a dozen patterns um, from various Ukrainian designers on Etsy um, around the time the war broke out. Um, so uh, I will mention if you are looking for a way to support people in Ukraine, um, go check out Ukrainian designers. Be mindful um, that you are supporting a legit Ukrainian designer. 
um, because there have been some people who are trying to take advantage of the situation and say, changing their location as being um, Ukraine and trying to profit off that. So um, make sure there's, there's so many posts that you can find on Instagram um, and videos where floss tubers have mentioned various people. Um, I will link the ones that I did down below. Um, I think I ordered from three or four different designers. And um, so go show your support for the Ukrainian people um, and President Zelensky. <laughs> uh, <laughs> enough said. Um, okay, so another thing that I got, this is something I have been wanting for so long and it has been out of stock at 123Stitch for so long. And I finally got an email saying back in stock. And I went, oh, heck yes, I'm going to go buy that right now, right this second. Um, this is the Christmas tree from 2007. I just, I really love these doves. I just love how beautiful this is. It's a full kit. It comes with classic color works and the beads. Um, although it does not come with the fabric. Um, but I just, I love the colors of this. I think this is so beautiful. Um, even though my Christmas decor is very farmhouse, I think that with the right fabric and the right finish, this will tie in just nicely. So I, oh gosh, I just, I love how beautiful this is. It's like so beautiful. Um, okay. And then the last thing I bought, I definitely bought this on a whim. I just happened to stumble upon it, uh, one day when I was looking at Etsy and, um, was like, <laughs> yeah, I need to buy this like right now. Um, and I'm trying to limit how many project bags I buy because I know how to make them now. Uh, but one of my favorite, favorite, favorite shops is Painted Leaf Co., which is Stitchy Sarah Reed's her mom and sister's um, company where they make project bags. Look at this. <sighs> Look at this. Okay. 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 I mean, look at the fox. Look at the raccoon. Look at the bunnies. The mice. What is that? An anteater? Maybe? The hedgie? The snail? The trees? I mean, I, I can't. And then to top it all off, a little mushroom. How freaking cute. I, I, I'm obsessed. Um, I have to, I was trying to think if I have a Halloween bag that is open, like not in use right now for my touch of magic situ situation. But if I don't have a project bag that's Halloween themed open, I'm going to put my touch of magic in here because I just, uh, I love, love, love. I love these colors so much. So that is everything. Um, I highly suggest their bags um, and they're reasonably priced and they have like big bags and small bags and the notions bags and um, so highly recommend. Whew, that's everything. Uh, I hope to see you again in less than two months. Um, I'm trying, I'm, I'm really, really trying. And I want to thank you all so much for all the messages that you have sent me, um, on Instagram or comments on my videos. Um, I have, there are a couple people who periodically check in on me. Um, and I really, really appreciate it because, uh, it's been a struggle. It really has been, um, especially over the last couple weeks, um, my husband's grandfather passed away, um, and so we had to go out of town for that, and we're just, we're both, we're both struggling, not, I wouldn't say struggling, but we're just, work has been taxing on both of us, um, and then to have swim through all of that, and now just, it just, it, there, it's just a lot. Oh, and, and my husband got into a car accident. <laughs> Well, I mean, it wasn't that bad. He was rear-ended on the freeway, but um, it just, so it's just kind of, and he's fine. He's fine, by the way. He is completely fine. 
Um, it's just been a trying time. And so that kind of explains why, <laughs> why I've been gone. Uh, I keep taking these long breaks um, and I don't mean to. I really enjoy filming my videos and talking to everyone and I don't like taking such a long time between videos, but sometimes it's necessary for my mental health because it's like if you add one more thing on top of everything, then I feel like I'm just going to break. And so, but I feel like everything is slowly on the rise, I hope. And we're going to be going to Arizona to see my parents in May. And um, I'm hoping that I can film a video with my mom because that was so fun when we filmed before. Um, so I'm hoping for that. But we're going to be gone for a week in May and I'm just, I'm so ready. So ready. So that is all I have. Um, let me know if you're going to be participating in the Touch of Magic. I keep wanting to say situation, like Kathleen's situation normal. Um, if you're going to participate in the Stitch Along with Caterpillar, Touch of Magic, um, I'm, I'm so excited. Um, and I'm so thankful for Sally to Sally for reaching out for me. Um, reaching out to me. Gosh, can I talk today? <sighs> so um, I will see you next time. And be on the lookout probably tomorrow for my unboxing of the Black Needle Society murder mystery box. I'm so excited to open this. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.